Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. So today I want to talk about time and money. And this is the next video in the planning one-on-one -on -one series, my version of it anyway. So I want to talk about if you have enough time and if you want to spend the money on planning, all right? Sometimes planning can be time consuming and expensive, and sometimes it can be um, not so time consuming and very inexpensive, depending on the method that you choose. All right, so how much time do you have? Um, sometimes effective planning can take maybe one to two hours, um, depending on how long you've been doing it and how much of an expert you are at it, <laughs> right? It may take um, one to two hours sometimes, especially if you're using the planner and stickers and, and recording and different things like that. Now, if you're not doing all of those extra things, it may not take you that long. But for me, it takes at least one to two hours um, to get my planning done. And that's only because, like I said, I'm putting stickers in my planner, I'm recording plan with me videos, I'm editing plan with me videos. So it takes me a little bit longer. All right. So you may be someone that says, I don't have that type of time. <laughs> so you want to make a quick to do list. But sometimes to do lists aren't all that effective. All right. You may write 10 things on a to do list, which is way too much, by the way. Um, <laughs> and you may only get two to three things done from that list. So I have linked my video creating a to do list in the description box below for you to check out which will hopefully help you to create a more effective to-do list, all right? But if you say, you know what, I want to get into this planning thing, I want to use stickers, I want to decorate my planner, I may even want to start my own YouTube channel or make reels or TikToks or whatever the case may be. Choose a day of the week to plan, all right? Um, planning is not something that I want to sit down and do every day. So for me, the best way for me to plan is on a Friday after work. Um, so I sit down on Fridays after I've gotten everything done. I film my plan with me videos. And a lot of times I don't have to do a lot of editing because I just talk. Um, but if I do, I will edit the videos and render them down for YouTube and then um, upload them and schedule them to my YouTube channel. So that's not something that I have to worry about for the rest of the week. All right, so decide, um, you know, do you have enough time to plan? And if you decide that you do, choose a day of the week that's best for you to plan. Or if you like a quick to-do list, sit down the night before and then write out your to-do list for the next day. All right, so I have a question for you. What are your planning goals? All right. Um, why do you want to start planning? Um, that's one of the main questions that I had to ask myself. Why do you want to do this? Do you just want another hobby for you to spend more money on, for you to hoard more stuff? <laughs> because um, if you watch my other videos, you know that I am a seamstress and a crafter. So you can imagine the things that I have tucked away in my craft room. <laughs> so I had to ask myself about planning. Is that, do you really want to plan effectively or do you just want to buy stickers? <laughs> All right. So I had to ask myself, what, what was my goal? All right. So I'm asking you, what is your goal? Why do you want to start planning? Do you want to manage your time better? Do you want to see where your time is going? Um, there's a lot of different reasons why you may want to start planning. Um, that goes into what do you want to accomplish? I'm um, talking about time management. I, there have been times where I have wasted so much time. And let me give you an example. Um, a couple of years ago, I would teach a class in the morning at one campus and the classes are only two hours long. <laughs> so, um, periodically I would teach two classes, which I would be there for four hours. I would come home. I, I would teach from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Come home, have hours in between, and I would just be fiddling around doing nothing. And then sometimes I would have to go to the other campus at night and work 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. But most of the time, I was only working 9 to 11, sometimes 9 to 1, and I would just come home and 
If I felt like sewing, I would sew. If I only wanted to watch TV, I would just watch TV. So I needed to um, figure out a way to manage my time better. I'm a little bit busier now. So planning is really helping me now to really manage my time and make sure I get everything done that I need to get done. Because I do have another YouTube channel with sewing and crafting. <laughs> right? Um, so also think about how will planning change your life personally and or professionally. All right. Um, personally, again, I wanted to stop wasting so much time because I will waste time and then complain at the end of the day that I didn't have enough time in the day, knowing full well that I had plenty of time. <laughs> right. Professionally. Um, if you if your ja job has tasks that you have to complete by a certain deadline, maybe planning can help you in your professional life as well. All right. I do have a goal setting video linked in the description box below. So definitely check out the goal setting video to help you figure out what are your planning goals and why do you want to start planning and what you want to accomplish. All right, so is it worth the money, right? Planners and accessories can be very expensive, all right? It just depends on what your needs are. There are different planner companies. There are different sticker companies, um, retail stores, um, or you can create your own planner, which is the cheaper route that you can go, um, the less expensive route that you can go. Um, so... There are a ton of different planner companies. I haven't even scratched the surface of the different planner companies that are out there. And truth be told, I don't want to because <laughs> there's a switch that goes off on my head when I see something different and I just got to buy it. Same thing with sticker companies. There's so many sticker companies out there that have beautiful stickers. Um, but I just really have to discipline myself. And I said few minutes ago, I'm a crafter. I know how to make my own stickers, <laughs> right? And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's cheaper because I still have to use my printer. I still have to buy sticker paper, all of the things. So just, you know, depends on convenience. Sometimes we pay for convenience. We may purchase those stickers from sticker companies because we don't feel like making our own stickers, right? Um, now, retail stores. Walmart, for example, um, they have very inexpensive planners, less than $10, and they also have sticker books for less than $10. So um, keep that in mind. Target also has planners, um, less than $10, very effective planners, Amazon. Um, so different retail stores you can go to and you can find um, a very inexpensive way to um, get a planner and even if you want some stickers you can find sticker books and they're very nice sticker books they have a ton of stickers in them um, and they are not very expensive at all um, and the reason I'm saying this is because you don't want to be like me and buy all of the things right I know I probably said this in several different videos I started out with the happy planner and I bought all of the things and now all of those things are sitting on one of those carts collecting dust. Okay. <laughs> so um, let's say you don't want a planner. You just need maybe some sheets, um, some templates. And you can actually create your own templates. I will be doing several videos here on the channel where I show you how to make your own planning templates in Microsoft Word as well as Canva. Um, you can also make them in PowerPoint. I haven't tried that yet, but if I try it in the future, that'll be something I show you as well. But definitely look out for some upcoming videos where I will show you how to create your own templates. Um, I will also have some templates linked on my website. Um, so if you're interested in templates um, and you don't want to make your own, I will have some templates on my website and I will link my website in the description box below. Um, and these are just printable templates where you just pull it up, print it out, start writing. All right. Um, so one of the things to help save money or a couple of things to help save money 
um, in your planning if you want to do decorative planning. Um, look for coupons, look for discounts. There are plenty of, plenty of shops that do discounts. Again, Target, Walmart, Amazon, they have very inexpensive planners for less than $10 that you can um, get. Um, but if you want to, if you see a planner from a planner company that you like, um, see if they're offering any discounts. Some people may do 10% um, off your first order if you're a new customer, right? Um, see if they have coupons. You may have to join their email list to get a discount, right? Uh, my favorite thing that sticker companies do is $2 Tuesdays. So some of their sticker sheets that may be 4 or $5 on Tuesdays, they may put some of those sticker sheets down for $2 a piece, which is an awesome bargain. And then also look for clearance. Um, I personally, when Hobby Lobby puts the Happy Planners on clearance for $8, <laughs> and they were and they started out $29.99 or $39.99. I go and I buy those $8 clearance planners. Now, some of the time has passed in the planner, but I use stickers so I can always redate my planner. Um, I don't necessarily worry about um, the dates in a planner, and I prefer an undated planner anyway. So clearance is a, a great way to save money on your planning journey. And then create a budget, right? You may say this month I only have fifteen dollars to spend on um, planner accessories or or whatever the case may be. All right, so just put it in your budget if it's something that you really really want to do. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? All right. So um, that is it. This was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I wanted to make sure I hit all the points for you. So definitely check out the videos that I linked in the description box below, which I believe are my to do create creating a to do list and also of my goal setting video. All right. And I also linked my shop in the description box below that has um, planner templates as well. There are some free items on there as well as some paid items. All right. So if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video and I will see you in the next one.